back to stylish niger youtube channel i want to say thank you to all of our subscribers thank you all for subscribing to stylish niger youtube channel thank you for your love and for your support i appreciate each and every one of you that have subscribed to stylish niger youtube channel okay guys so in today's class i'm going to be showing you how to cut and sew a fish skirt without a pattern so these are the measurements that we are going to be using for this so i'm just trying to so these are the measurements that we're going to make use of. So you can see the waist measurement is 34 and then the hip is 42. The full length of the skirt is 42 and then the nape part is 38. So these are the measurements that we're going to be making use of. So we're not making use of a pattern. So we're going to cut and it's still going to flow nicely. So I have my fabric here. So I have about five yards of fabric, but I'm not going to be making use of all of it. I'm going to make use of at least maybe three yards of fabric at the end of the day so i'm just going to fold my fabric now and then we'll start imputing our measurement so if you want to register for our online classes you can see my number scrolling through the screen just send me a message on whatsapp and then i'll give you the details of the classes that we have available okay okay guys so we're going to start imputing our measurements now so I have my lines, so I'm going to explain all of these lines the way they are, since we're not making use of a pattern. So the first line that I have here is the waistline, that's where I'm going to start from. And then from the waist to the hip line is 9 inches. And then from my hip line to the knee, I'm making use of about 19.5 inches for the knee line. So that is where this line is really very important if you want to achieve a really beautiful shaped skirt. It's important for you to know that line. And then the full length of my skirt, like I said earlier, is 42 inches. And then I added 2 inches extra. So the next thing now is how do you fold your fabric? You know, we're not making use of a pattern. You are going to use the biggest part of your fabric, the biggest part of your skirt to fold your fabric, which is the down part. So for mine, my fabric is folded into two, you can see. So I'm making use of 23 inches. So you can see, I'm just going to go ahead and open it. So when you see this is 23 inches, so at the end of the day, you can see how full my skirt is going to be. It's going to be about 46 inches, which is really very flowing downwards. So you can see this is how you can make it smaller, you can make it bigger. So it depends on what you want, since you are not making use of a pattern or a slash and spread. So now we're going to start imputing our measurement. The first measurement we're going to impute here is, is going to be the waist measurement. So we'll cut the front, the front first and then we'll use it to cut out the back. So when you divide 34 into 4, because our fabric, because our dress is folded into 4, that's for both the back, 2 for front and then 2 for back for beginners. You divide it into 4, your measurement, you can use your own desired measurement. I'm going to have 8.5 here. So it's almost 9 inches, so I'm going to go ahead, I'll just impute it. And then I'll add, take out 1 inch for my dart, and then I'll add another two inches for my stitching allowance so i'm just adding two inches you can actually do one inch so i'm just trying to be safe so i added two inches and then the next line this is which is our hip line i'm going to come to the hip line so the hip that i'm making use of is 42 inches you divide into four when you divide into four i'm going to have about 10.5 this is my 10.5 here and then on this line i'm going to add my allowance so for the allowance for the hip i'm make use of three inches allowance so from this point i'm just going to go ahead and cuff this so you can see what we have and then on the knee line this is like the key this is if you have been watching most of my videos when i, I make skirt patterns this is like the secret of the whole skirt this is what will give you that defined shape so depends on how you shape this part that is what will make or break the skirt if i would say Okay, so for the nail line, you know most of the patterns, you just take what you have here and reduce by 2 inches and bring here. No, for mine, I'm not going to be making it that way, which I can do. For instance, if I'm taking out 2 inches from here, I'm going to have about 11 inches here. So my skirt is going to like take this shape. But I'm not going to do this. I'm still going to reduce the nail line. I'm still going to reduce it. So the knee is always good for you to measure around your client. Just measure it around. So for mine, I measured her. So she's about 38 inches. So that's 38 inches. When you divide it into four, I'm going to have about 9.5. So I'm just going to put my 9.5 in and then I'll add just one inch allowance. So from this point like this, I'm just going to go ahead and do this. So you can see what I have. So this will really give it a really defined shape. 
really defined shape. You can see how small this part is looking. And then from this point, I'm just going to make a straight curve to the hem of my skirt like this. So you can see what I have. I'll just go ahead like this now and then give it a very beautiful play. So you see, this is how you actually make your skirt without a pattern. So I'll go ahead now. I'm just trying to, this part, you need to curve it in. So that is for the front pattern. I'm going to go ahead, I'll cut it out. So I'm going to add my notch for my dart. So for the dart, I'll use my bust pan measurement, which is 4.5. I'm just going to put a notch here like this. So with this, I'm going to go ahead and cut out the back. So I'm going to open it up for you to see how beautiful this skirt is really looking like, even though we did not make use of the pattern. So you can see how full the down part of our skirt is looking. It is really full and it is really beautiful. Okay, so now I'm going to use this. I'll cut out the back with this. Okay, guys, so I'm going to cut out the back piece now. So I folded my fabric. I've placed the front piece on top of the back piece. So for the back, I want it to have a tail on just the down part, not this kind of tail on the side. So the tail is just going to, the back is just going to be a little bit longer than the front. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to use the length that I have here. I have about nine inches, so it's, it's just going to be on this part. So from this part, I'm just going to make a curve. And then I'm, I'm going to curve it into that part. So that's that. So there are different types of steel. There are some that you can add from this part, and then it comes like this. So I'll go ahead, I'm going to cut. So you make sure you add your zip allowance. So this is the zipper allowance. So my skirt got a little bit truncated on that part, so I'm just going to trim it out. Okay guys, so at the end of the day, so you can see how our skirt is looking. So make sure you notch all of your points, the hip line, the knee line, notch them. And then this down part, I'm just going to go ahead, just give it a slant curve. So it will not be straight like this. So slant it and then make sure that both of them on this point that they intercept there. Okay guys, so you can see how beautiful our skirt is looking. So thank you so much. I've now come to the end of this video. If you find this tutorial helpful, please I would appreciate if you hit on the like button. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe to Stylish Nigeria YouTube channel. Thank you so much. I'll see you in my next video. God bless you.